السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل وسلم مبارك على عبدك ورسولك سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا ومولانا محمد كما صليت وسلمت وباركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد Respected friends, leaders of uh, SSF National Committee. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to request those who are sitting behind just to come in the front chairs. Please. The back chairs are for those who are coming late. Right? Right or wrong? Yes. Can I get a cordless mic? A cordless mic? Cordless, cordless. Probably I will get down. Okay. <laughs> Not now. Inshallah, in between. So, my dear friends, all of us are coming from different campuses of India. I believe I can deliver this address in English, right? Or Urdu, what you prefer? English. Or mix. Mix kar ke karega, inshallah. Toda Urdu mein bhi baat karenge, toda English mein bhi baat karenge. Chalega na? Inshallah, inshallah. So the thing is that <clears throat> those who are studying in campuses, you know what is your potential? Somebody who is coming from a campus, he has, he has a good amount of potential which the others don't have. You have a lot of privileges. So what, what, what we are supposed to do, we are supposed to unleash our potentials. You know what is unleashing, right? What's unleashing? What's unleashing? Huh? Take out. Take it out with no limits. That's what we call unleash, right? So, all of you are supposed to unleash your potentials and utilize your potentials for the betterment of Muslim community. This is your duty and that's my duty also. Having the privilege of coming from famous campuses, you have access to a big community that are not really addressed by our Maulanas or so-called Maulavis. I don't know what you use in this Maulana or Maulvi? Maulana. I don't know. Can I come down? Coming from campuses have a good advantage and a very big disadvantage. What is the advantage? I told you now. You have access to those who are not normally addressed by our Maulanas. That is the biggest advantage that you have. Simultaneously, there is a big disadvantage. Can any of you tell me uh, what is that disadvantage? Come on. It might be that like people won't take you at face value if you try to preach there. Don't think so. It is an answer, but that is not the apt answer. It's an answer. Because people will take it for good if the advice is good. They won't look to your face or they won't look to your apparel or appearance. But you know what is the disadvantage? That is, you are exposed to a lot of false ideologies which are not faced by Molanas. 
ट्रू और फॉल्स डू यू एग्री एग्री फॉर एग्जाम्पल ये आई थिंक आई डोंट हैव टू टॉक इन मलयालम राइट ओके सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस सो कॉल्ड लिबरलिस वेर दे आर एक्टिव मोर इन कैंपस सो ऑल द फॉल्स आइडियोलॉजीज आर मेनली फोकस्ड इन कैंपस सो दैट इज द मेजर थ्रोट विच वी आर फेसिंग so how do you address this there should be a way to address this right samajhta hai na sab log sab log samajhta hai ki nahi samajhta hai ha huh? i should get your reply are you understanding me okay sab log samajhta hai to aise hi chalega nahi samajhta hai to kya kar sakte <laughs> so how do you face this threat how can you face this threat yes come on if we know more things about islam the rulings about islam then we will not fall into the trap of liberalism we can easily answer the questions very good answer if you know more about your islam you will not fall that easily into the false propagandas which is commonly happening in our campuses now but there is one more thing which is more apt for example i am studying in a campus i am facing a lot of uh, false ideologies but i am not that much educated in islamic ideology so what i do do i fall in that false ideologies is it a remedy can it happen no then what can i do ha huh? i think this is this is the better way to communicate right or you need me to go there and do my speech what is better for you this or the speech ha huh? this is better okay so what do you think i will tell you the first thing the first thing is that believe strongly and firmly that our islam is the best is the only best religion in this world whatever false propaganda is going on regardless of whatever false propaganda is going on you should believe even though you don't have answer for some questions you should think that there are maulanas there are scholars who have answers for all the questions related to islam can you believe can you islam is the most beautiful religion in the world that's also false islam is the only religion that is accepted by allah right ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan rasulullah then inna ad-dina 'inda allahil islam so believe firmly that islam is the best ideology so whatever false propaganda is coming this is your first resistance understand me or not this is your first resistance probably i don't have answer it doesn't mean that there is no answer okay i will ask you a question you have a just for example you have a back pain for example for example you have a back pain do you have solution with you what do you do you consult the doctor as simple as that you don't have the solution but you are going to a doctor definitely doctors have the solution so there is somebody called doctor who can treat this right so for the islamic issues which are faced in uh campuses there is solution but probably i don't have but somebody have this is the main resistance this is the main resistance this is the main resistance how beautiful islam is how beautiful islam is you know what is the main beauty of islam what is the main beauty of islam what is the main beauty of islam anybody can 
can answer. I think I am focusing only this side, right? What's the main beauty of Islam? Huh? I, I think I should take all of you this side. Hello. This is the way that I can control everybody. Come here, come here, please. What is the main, main, main Islam? Which differentiates Islam from the other ideologies? The name itself. The name is, of course, it's a beauty. But, you know what is the main beauty? Lot of religions. Lot of ideologies. Or uh, let's talk about religions. They are just talking about only some divine things like prayers, worships, customs, practices. But what is the idea of Islam? Ashraful Khalq Sayyiduna Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Fil Hadith Sharif As-Sahaba Yaqool Anin Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Kana Akthar Duaihi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Rabbana Atina so what is that? What is that? Islam's preachings is not only related to Akhra. It's not only related to prayers. It's not only related to Namas. It's not only related to Ibada. Is my sir of Namas ka falail kya hai? Rosa ka falail kya hai? نفل رماس پڑھتا ہے تو اس کو کیا ملے گا کتنا نفل رماس ایک دن میں پڑھنا چاہیے صرف ایسا ہی مسائل نہیں ہے ایسا ہی مسائل نہیں ہے بٹ ربنا آتنا فی الدنیا حسنتن و فی الآخرت حسنتن ایدہ بن نار کیا نیو ایکسپیر Nothing to worry. Nothing to worry. Come on. Please. I want every one of you to come up. Please. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana. Oh Allah. Hamko is dunya me hasanat de. Ofil akhirati hasana. Ah. Uska matlab kya hai? Akhirat me bhi hamko hasanat de. وَقِنَا عذاب النار اس کو کیا مطلب نار کا عذاب کو نار کا عذاب سے عذاب سے رکشہ کر یہ نا so religions are talking about only divine things then think about liberalistic ideologies they are talking about only دنیا see the difference they are talking about only دنیا what is the liberalist saying you should enjoy your life. Which life? The life la that will vanish maybe after 20 years, after 30 years, after 60 years, let's say after 100 years. Will it last more than that? Will the life last more than that? Never. Very rare people are reaching 100 years. Mainly 60, 65. 70, if somebody is crossing 70, ho, oh, khalas. So, liberalism is talking about only dunya. Religions are talking about only divine things. Islam, talking about both. So, this is the most beautiful thing in the world, my dears. So, when somebody is coming and propagating false ideology in your campuses, the first resistance that should come in your mind is that Islam is the best religion in the world. And that's the only religion which is accepted by Allah. And the main beauty of this ideology is Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana tawakhina adha bin nar. 
so this is your resistance this is your self resistance and the second thing this is the most human ideology right or wrong right or wrong okay tell me what is zakat what is zakat ൂട്ടി tell me a single religion in this world have put such a theory that their extra wealth has to be compulsorily distributed has to be compulsorily distributed to the needy can you can you is there ashik 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 from which state kerala Uh, you are from Kerala and you Tajuddin Tajuddin from which state Karnataka <coughs> i want those from out of kerala to raise their hands ah oh, mashallah how many 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 okay hands down it's very few no 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 anyway no problem so this is the most humanitarian ideology that's existing on the earth okay it's the most human you know what is human rights what's human rights ha huh? what's human rights what's human rights come on Ah, come on. Right to life and personal liberty. Okay. In in little more specific. When you say human rights, there are some basic things that everybody has the right to get. Nobody can deny it, right? This is what we call human right. That right is deserving only by being a human being. There is no other criteria. There is no men. There is there is no female. There is no uh, gens. There is no country. There is no nationality. Whatever. Being a human, you have that right. That is what is called human rights. There are something called hukukul atfal, child right, child right. Being a child, they should get it. right i am taking you to one incident happened in the life of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam once sayyidina muhammad rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was leading the prayer in the masjid leading the prayer in the masjid incidentally he heard that some uh, kids were crying in the home nearby for example this is the masjid in madinah al munawwara let's say for the time being this is the masjid and there is a home prophet was leading the prayer in the masjid and while he was leading the masjid 
he listened that somebody is crying who is crying some kids you know what prophet said kuntu uridu an utawwila fi salati fa asma'u buka'a as-sabiy fa atajawwazu fi salati sayyiduna rasulullah sayyiduna rasulullah while i was entering to prayer i wish like i have to stay long in prayer because it's direct dialogue with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is direct conversation with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is the happiest moment of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he is directly doing conversation with prophet uh, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but whilst i am in the prayer i used to listen that the babies are crying from the houses nearby so what i am going to do i would cut short i will cut short for example he wants to say subhanallah wa bihamdihi fi ruku' ashara marra tisa marra for example or three times when he listened the crying of uh, the kids he cut it to one he cut it to one why that baby has the right to get the care of his parent who is praying with him in the mosque you understand have you seen such a beautiful ideology in this world have you seen you will never you will never so this is what i'm telling the most most beautiful practical ideology you have even though you don't have answers to the questions that is asked by liberalists or that is asked by lot of false ideology people but you should tell yourself that i am sitting or i am believing in a religion that is the most strongest or which is the most best ideology how beautiful is that praying talking to allah listening a baby crying so he is cutting that short and uh, leaving the people behind to go to homes and care their babies so the baby has the right to get care the baby has the right to get care who taught this this ideology sayyiduna muhammadur rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam <coughs> and i have a lot of examples i think uh, i would cut short the examples akhlaq what's akhlaq ha huh? what's akhlaq what's akhlaq akhlaq is all about behavior right akhlaq is all about behavior what captures the man the most what attracts the people most is it knowledge is it behavior is it wealth behavior right for example just 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 for example i am a very 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 rich man just example huh? <laughs> i am a very rich man having millions of dollars in my bank just like that you just imagine and this gentleman is very rich in knowledge he has a lot of knowledge okay and this gentleman he is not much knowledgeable person like this and not much rich like me but he is the best among us in terms of behavior who will attract you who will attract you this young chap right see what islam is teaching you allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is praising prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam telling that innaka la ala khuluqin azim innaka la ala khuluqin azim what does it mean o oh, prophet your character your behavior is the best is the best is the best 
Allah praised Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and at the same time Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam urged us to be in a good character. You know what he told? He told aqrabun nasi yawm al-qiyamati aqrabun nasi manzilatan min Allah yawm al-qiyamati ahasinuhum akhlaqa aqrabun nasi min Allah aqrabun nasi manzilatan min Allah yawm al-qiyamati ahasinuhum akhlaqa what is that those who are most closer to allah on the day of judgment is those who have best characters best characters so this is this is what everybody wants to be in on good character right so the teachings of islam is the best the conclusion of my my this this talk is the teachings of the islam is the best regardless of whether you have answers that is number 2 number 1 is that islam has answers somebody has answer i don't have answer you don't have answer but he has answers right right or wrong stand up all maulana wa sallim daima abada ഹൈറിൽ സോ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് റെസിസ്റ്റൻസ് ഈസ് ദാറ്റ് ഫേംലി ബിലീവ് that your ideology is the best though you don't have the answers somebody has the answer okay somebody has the answer this strong self resistance will resist you from falling in all the false ideologies there's a first step i'm just only on the first step now and the second step is very much important that is be yourself always you know what does it mean be yourself what is that be yourself what is that be yourself you are in a campus where a lot of false people have surrounded you okay so what's the second step of resistance to that b u what is that you maintaining your decorum in your character in your dressing everything okay i will uh, let it bit brush it up okay you have told the right answer i'll brush it up a little bit can any of you any other any other answer for this be yourself what does it mean be yourself it may be that we should not change our character which we have learned from our parents or from childhood what we have learned we should be on that so if what somebody has in the childhood is wrong eh so what will happen then so there should be a even more better answer right you understand what i mean okay when we say be yourself it simply means that represent your islam in all your deeds represent islam be the best muslim be the best muslim you know how or why islam is tarnished islam is abused attributed with a lot of things which are not really muslims why what's the reason you are not showcasing the best islam the best, best islam the world is seeing from you is not really islam right are you with me 
Are you listening me? What's your name? Tausifah, sir. Andhra Pradesh, mashallah. And what's your name? Tell me, tell me. What's your name? Chotu. Chotu. Mashallah, tabarakallah. Which state is it? Maharashtra? Maharashtra? Mashallah, tabarakallah. Very good. So, तो be yourself. इसको मतलब क्या है? समझा है ना? समझा कि नहीं? हाँ? Be the right Muslim. Be the right Muslim. In what? Not in your attire. In everything. When you are going to the campus and the people are seeing you that you are propagating SSF or you are an SSF activist and at the same time, at the same time, your practices are anti-Islamic. It doesn't match, right? Is it matching? It doesn't match. Then what the people will judge? They will judge Muslim from you. They will judge Islam. Mahboob. Mahboob. They will not judge Mahboob. They will not judge Abdullah. They will simply judge Islam. That's it. So at the end of the day, you will come and tell that uh, everybody is criticizing Islam. Who is the reason? Who is the reason? We are the reason. So the best way to resist Islam against liberalistic ideology, against political Islamist ideology, against all false ideologies that you represent the Islam in the best way. In the best way. And one more thing. One more thing. Somebody has told in the beginning of this session that uh, the best resistance is learning about Islam, right? I think you are the one who told. I put that in the third step. Yes. You. I got it. Learn about Islam. If I'm asking you, or if you are asking me some very basic questions about Islam, I will be a big failure in front of you now. Most of us, we will be a lot of people who will fail. Is it Islam ka baare mein teen chaar sawal poocha to khalas khatam. Rahul Gandhi ek bar bola na khatam. Bye bye. Teen chaar sawal poocha ka to khatam. So kyo? Rasta nahi hai. Sikha na ke liye. Bohut rasta hai hai. Media bohut hai. Ulmaya log bohut hai. Mashallah tabarak Allah hamara SSF ka president. Dr. Muhammad Farooq Naimi Al-Bukhari. In the whole India, we will search for a very well-known scholar in Islamic ideology is Dr. Muhammad Farooq Naimi Al-Bukhari. Right or wrong? So you are part of an organization that is led by him. That is led by him. So you have a lot of ways to learn. Learn the Islam as deeply as you can. As deeply as you can. Okay? You know what is the extent of my knowledge about Islam? If I say in Malayalam, Slangari Manjanu, Avagal Ariel Farlanu, where ends my knowledge about Islamic ideology? You understand what? Yes. Islam ka arkan paanch hai. Say ki nahi. O jo paanch arkan mein pata hai ka kaisa. Sab se pahle number pe aata hai. Shahadatu Allah ilaha illallah. Wa ashadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. Dousara number pe kya aata hai? Salat. Salat. 
सलाद तीसरा नंबर पे क्या आते सोम चौदह में पांच हो गया खत्म सही कि नहीं नमाज का तफासिल क्या है फारूक नहीं भी साहब बताएगा <laughs> हज का तफासिल क्या है अब्दुल हकीम अजहरी ने बताएगा सोम का तफासिल क्या है हुसैन से काफी उस्ताद बताएगा तो तुम्हारा रोल क्या है आ? तुम्हारा रोल क्या है अपना रोल क्या है कम मन बैठ के सुनेगा जो बोलता है बाद में जाएगा बस इतना तक नहीं हो सकता ना सो द थर्ड रेसिस्टेंस अबाउट योर इस्लाम एंड वन ऑफ द बेस्ट रेसिस्टेंस एमंग एवरी फॉर्म्स आइडियोलॉजी लेट इट बी लिबरलिस्ट लेट इट बी कम्युनिस्ट लेट इट बी पोलिटिकल इस्लाम लेट इट बी वॉर ऑफ इट्स नो You know what Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam did the minute or the moment he reached in Madina al Munawwara? Huh? There are people spreading false ideology of political Islam among students in campuses. You know what is the best thing or the first thing that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam did with Madina people, the Jewish people? The first day he reached in Madina, he entered into a contract with them. He entered into a contract with them. Do you know what was the first clause of that contract? Can anybody tell me? All of you are with me or not? Once more. Do not attack it. Mola, mola, bada mola, bada. مولاي صل وسلم دائما ابدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كلهم you know what's the first clause of that contract the first clause of that contract was للمسلمين دينهم ولليهود دينهم للمسلمين Deen hum, walil Yahudi, Deen hum. What does it mean? Muslims are free to practice Islam, and the Jewish are free to practice Jewish religion. Understand? Muslims are free to practice Islam in this country, same way Jewish people are free to practice Jewish religion in this country. So Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, when he reached Madinah al Munawwara, he established. the first pluralistic country that is called madina madina what's the slogan of this conference we the people of india you know where is it coming from you will say that is coming from our constitution that is true but there is a clause that prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam put in that clause in madina that contract in madina he said we the people of madina we the people of madina and we the people of madina 14 centuries ago prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam told and now ssf is telling we the people of india we the people of india so he has established a secularist nation world jewish also can practice their islam islam must be practiced by muslims So you, we should learn this we should understand this we must understand this so the third step of self resistance against liberalistic ideology political islamic ideology communist ideology whatever whatever false ideologies are spreading in the campuses are to learn islam as deeply as you can to learn islam as deeply as, deeply as you can lot of lot of lot of ways you have a lot of scholars lot of books written lot of classes lot of things but you are not utilizing it i am not utilizing it and at the end i will come to farooq naim ustad and i will tell him that liberalist people are telling from the campus like this what should i answer you can ask this question once you should not approach him for the same question second time understand you should not approach him for the same question second time you would have learned him 
And to conclude, I will tell you one more thing and that is very much important. Be part of this organization firmly. Attach, attach, attach to this union, to this community. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qal fil hadith sharif inna ma ya ukulud di ibu min al ghanami you should you should feel somebody should feel this inna ma ya ukulud di ibu min al ghanami anybody can feel I have another hadith also. Man shadda shudda finnara. Man shadda shudda finnara. Inna ma yakulu dhubu al ghanam al qasiyah. MashaAllah, Tabarakallah. Inna ma yakulu dhubu min al ghanami al qasiyah. Man shadda shudda finnara. Man shadda shudda finnara. What does it mean? Huh? What's the meaning? You should answer. What's the meaning? Man shadda shudda finnar. It must not be English. You can answer even in, in, in Hindi, in Urdu. I am considering the Kerala people. That's why I am using English more. Otherwise, I would have gone mainly in, in Urdu. Huh? Come on. Inna ma yaykuluddi imu minal ghanam il khasiya. The wolf is... Eating which sheep that is running apart from the group, right? So, understand this ideology from Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. This is a platform for you. SSF is a platform that purifies you, that teaches you, that is shaping you, that is giving you a clear understanding about all the false ideologies in this world. That is giving you the courage. That is making you a pure person. Which you were not before. Inna Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yaqool fi al-Qur'an al-Kareem thumma awrathna al-kitab al-lazhi nastafayna min ibadina fa minhum lalimu li nafsi fa minhum muqtasid wa minhum Sabiqum bil khairat. There are three categories of Muslims. There are three categories of Muslims. Number one is Lalimun li nafsihi. Number two Come on. Muqtasit. Number three Sabiqum bil khairat. You know what is Lalimun li nafsihi? Mufassirun. Ulamai kiram. بولتا ہے لالم اللہ نفسی ہی کہ یہ معنی یہ ہے کہ کبھی کبھی حرام کرے گا کبھی کبھی فرل چھوڑے گا ایسا والا بندہ کو بولتا ہے لالم اللہ نفسی ہی مطلب کبھی کبھی شراب بیتا ہے کبھی کبھی فرل نماز چھوڑتا ہے اس بندہ کو لالم اللہ نفسی ہی بول سکتے ہیں سیکنڈ کیٹگری میں آتا ہے مقتصد مقتصد بولے گا تو پورا فرض کرے گا پورا حرام چھوڑے گا لیکن نفل زیادہ نہیں کرے گا مکروح چھوڑے گا بھی نہیں کبھی کبھی مکروح بھی کرے گا اس بندہ کا نام ہے مقتصد سابقم بالخیرات بولے گا تو یہ سپرلیٹیو ڈگری یہ سابقم بالخیرات میں آتا ہے جو بندہ حرام پورا چھوڑا ہے فارل پورا کیا ہے سنت میکسیمم کرتا ہے کراہت پورا چھوڑتا ہے ایسا والا بندہ کو بولتا ہے سابقم بالخیرات کیا نام ہے اس کا سابقم بالخیرات سو ایسا صف میں آپ جوئن کرے گا تو مثلا ابھی میں میرا سٹانڈ لالی بلی نفسی ہی میں ہوگا کبھی کبھی حرام کرتا ہے کبھی کبھی فل چھوڑتا ہے لیکن آستہ آستہ ایسا صف میں ایک سال دو سال گزرنا کے بعد میرا درجہ کیا ہوتا ہے لالی بلی نفسی ہی سے میں مقتصد بن جاتا ہے پورا فرض میں کرتا ہوں صحیح ہے کی نہیں پورا حرام میں چھوڑتا ہے یہی ہے سصف یہی ہے سصف پھر ایک دو سال تین چار سال اور گزر گئے سصف میں 
پھر میں کیا بن جاتا ہے سابق بالخیرات سابق بالخیرات یہ قرآن میں اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی فرمایا ہے سابق بالخیرات مطلب کیا ہے کوئی حرام کوئی کراہت نہیں ہے پورا فرض ہے میکسیمم نفل بھی ہے سو دس اس یور لائف سائیکل ان ایس ایس ایف وین آئی جوائنٹ ان ایس ایس ایف مائی نالج نیبر ووز بیری لو جوائنٹ ان ایس ایس ایف لیٹل اگین لیٹل لیٹل مو لیٹل مو لیٹل مو آئی بیکیم ای پورسن ہو ہیز گوٹ نالج اور وڈی گولڈ ایوریج نالج اباوٹ اسلام رائٹ فاروق نعیمی استاد ماشاءاللہ تبارک اللہ اتنا نالج اپل پرسن ہے اتنا بڑا پرسنالیٹی ہے اتنا بڑا لیڈر ہے بن گیا کیسا ایسا سب سے ایسا سب سے ہی بن گیا ایسا ہی نہیں ہوا فاروق نہیں میں استاد ایک دن میں ایسا نہیں ہوا ایسا سب سے ایسا سب سے بن گیا سو ایسا ہے ہم بھی بننا چاہیے تم بھی بننا چاہیے پورا کمیونٹی ایسا بننا چاہیے اس کے لیے ایسا سب ہے ادھر سو نمبر فور I am telling you, this is the conclusion. You be a strong, a strong, a strong member in this organization. That is the best self-resistance for or against any false ideology. I am not telling this. Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the goal. Inna ma yaykul adhiyuhu min al-ghanami al-qasiyya. Man shadda shudda fi al-nar. Man shadda shudda fi al-nar. So this is the best best resistance that you can do. I think you were with me in this journey. Were you? Understand anything? Huh? Did you understand anything from my, my, my speech so far? Was it useful to you? Huh? So be firm. Inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tawfiq ata farmayega, inshallah. Pura Hindustan me Kashmir se ہو کر کنیا کماری تک ٹونڈی نائن سٹیٹس میں ہمارے ایس 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 کا برانجس ہے تقریباً پچیس سٹیٹس سے زیادہ سٹیٹ کا رپرسنٹیٹیوز ڈیلیگیٹس اس میٹنگ میں آج ہا چکا ہے الحمدللہ آپ لوگ کو پتایا گا تو پہلے ہمارے کیرلا میں ایس 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 چھوٹا چھوٹا گاوے میں ہم جا کے تین بندے چار بندے کو پکڑ کا ایسا بٹھاتا ہے اس کو بولتا ہے ایس 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 نامک ایک ارگنیزیشن ہے اس میں الحمدللہ ماشاءاللہ اچھا اچھا طریقہ ہے کتابیں پڑھتا ہے بول بول کے یونٹ بن جاتا ہے ادھر دس بندے ہوتا ہے ایک ایک جگہ میں پانچ بندے ہوتا ہے ایک ایک جگہ میں بیس بندے ہوتا ہے کہیں کہیں جگہ میں کوئی بھی نہیں ہے اس سیٹویشن سے پورا کیرلا میں الحمدللہ ماشاءاللہ اتنا بڑا ارگنیسیشن بن گیا ایسا سف ابھی ادھر کیرلا کا بورڈرز کروس کر کے پورا ہندوستان کا سب سے بڑا سٹوڈنٹس مومنٹ بن چکا ہے ایسا سف سو بولو ایسا سف زندہ بات گونڈل ففٹی زندہ بات ایسا سف زندہ بات گونڈل ففٹی زندہ بات سلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ